The press conference held by four senior most judges after the Chief Justice is something unprecedented in the history of independent India. The judiciary is a arm of our democracy and our republic that is seen with the highest degree of esteem by the Indian people. The faith that the Indian people have in the judiciary has actually now been shaken by the sort of positions that these four senior most judges have taken on the manner in which the apex court that delivers justice in our country actually is functioning. These charges merit a thorough investigation. In fact, the trigger that brought about this development, that is the mysterious death of Justice Loya, who was investigating or hearing the matter concerning an encounter death that involved the BJP president, that seems to have sparked off this sort of a press conference by the four senior most judges. And this is something that needs to be thoroughly investigated and settled. The judiciary's independence and integrity is something that is non-negotiable in Indian democracy and for the Indian Republic. All the three wings of our constitutional order, of our democracy, that is the executive, the legislature and the judiciary, must collectively work to ensure that the pedestal on which the judiciary rests, which is the highest in terms of integrity and faith that it commands over the people, that cannot be either destroyed or even diluted. So these measures will have to be urgently undertaken, the parliament will have to discuss and to ensure that these steps, if the judiciary can resolve it very good, otherwise the collectively this problem will have to be addressed and resolved in the interests of Indian Republic and the Indian democracy. Four senior judges, uh, next in seniority to the Chief Justice himself, have taken the unprecedented step of holding a press conference in Delhi uh, on Friday. They have raised an important issue about the way the Supreme Court's administration and functioning is taking place. A very serious charge has been made by them that the constitution of benches and allocation of cases uh, to be heard uh, are being done in an arbitrary fashion or with a pre-planned uh, motive. We think there, are, there is some substance in these charges because uh, now if we look back at the important cases which are there before the Supreme Court, say the Ayodhya case, say the Aadhaar case, none of these four senior judges are on the bench uh, hearing such important cases. So the question arises how this functioning is going on in the Supreme Court and I think that based on the principle of democratic functioning and transparency, uh, these matters must be taken up and uh, a resolution of this problem found. Now this cannot be done by any interference by the executive. In fact, the suspicion is that some of these decisions have been uh, taken at the instance of or pressure from outside the judiciary. So we hope that uh, the collective wisdom of the Supreme Court judges will be uh, put into play and uh, a sound and correct uh, resolution of the problem is arrived at.